Good evening, my name is Cicero Figueroa, I'm the city's principal planner, and tonight I will be presenting the firearms ordinance update, adding medical clinics and hospitals as a sensitive use requiring a 600 foot separation from businesses engaged in the sale of firearms and ammunition at firearm ranges. Providing some background on July 16, 2019, during the public hearing, the council approved a zone text amendment to amend chapters 11 and 16 of the Oxnard city code to Established definitions for ammunition, firearm range, firearm, and firearm and ammunition cells. Establish and or modify land uses related to these activities within the general commercial, limited manufacturing, and community reserve zoning districts. Establishing siting criteria, operational considerations, and the process for review of special use permit applications related to these uses. During the July 16, 2019 public hearing, the council deliberated on the possibility of including hospitals and clinics as a sensitive use. Public testimony urged the council to consider clinics and hospitals as sensitive uses, citing the patient safety and security should be protected equally as a sensitive use is being considered under the proposed ordinance. Firearm ammunition cells and firearm ranges require a minimum 600 foot separation from any sensitive use. The council directed staff to research the potential inclusion of medical clinics and hospitals in the ordinance and report back at a future date. On April 13, 2021, the Community Services, Public Safety, Housing and Development Committee unanimously voted to direct staff to pursue a zone text amendment to amend Chapter 16 of the Oxnard City Code to include medical clinics and hospitals as a sensitive use. Staff was not given direction to amend any of these standards and the requirements currently in place to regulate firearm, ammunition cells, and firearm ranges. Nor was direction given to alter the regulations or the operations of any of the four existing firearm and ammunition retailers within the city. The Oxnard City Code does not contain definitions for medical clinics and hospitals. Using best practices, staff outlined the following definitions to guide discussion. Medical clinic means an organized outpatient health facility that provides direct medical, surgical, dental, optometric, or podiatric advice, services, or treatment to patients who remain less than 24 hours, and they may also provide diagnostic or therapeutic services to patients. Hospital means a health facility having a duly constituted governing body with overall administrative and professional responsibility and having an organized medical staff which provides 24-hour inpatient care, including one or more of the following basic services, medical, nursing, surgical, anesthesia, laboratory, radiology, pharmacy, dietary services, or psychiatric care and treatment. Medical clinic definition is not intended to include Lang uses such as, but, lim not, but not limited to, medical insurance and medical services, retail medical equipment and supplies, Pharmacies, unless ancillary to a medical clinic or hospital. Medical research and laboratories, unless ancillary to a medical clinic or hospital. Medical devices, equipment, and hospital supplies manufacturers. Ambulance and veterinary services, spa and wellness centers. Firearms related businesses must maintain a 600 foot separation from sensitive uses, which are non residential daycare, child or adult, parks churches, public or private schools, any residentially zoned property, the Oxnard Transportation Center, and the Oxnard Airport. A 200-foot separation is required between individual firearm-related uses. Based on the proposed definitions for medical clinics and hospitals, staff plotted clinics and hospitals on the previously approved buffer map under Ordinance 2961. Over 290 medical establishments were plotted based on the city's business license road. The map, the current map identifies the zoning areas, red and orange, throughout the city that allow firearm sales uses under the current firearms ordinance. The green dash areas identify all of the areas where firearm sales uses are allowed if hospitals, clinics are included as a sensitive use. Map 2 contains a map that identifies all sensitive use buffers, including medical clinics and hospitals. The city's baseline, which is approximately 1.57% of the land area where firearm sales uses are allowed to operate, 
However, potentially, if medical clinics and hospitals are included as a sensitive use, the available land area where firearm cell uses are allowed would be reduced by 0.38% to approximately 1.19%. The Community Development Department staff consulted with the City Attorney's Office and Police Department and determined inclusion of medical clinics and hospitals as a sensitive use would provide for a legally sufficient number of parcels to accommodate firearm uses. The proposed in-text amendment is, is consistent with a number of general plan policies, which include compatible land use. The proposed zone tax amendment is designed to ensure adequate separation between sensitive land uses to minimize land use incompatibility, limiting high risk land uses. The proposed zone tax amendment is designed to mitigate the high risk to health, safety and welfare residents, visitors and workers presented by businesses involving firearms and ammunition. Police, Police review of development projects. The proposed zone tax amendment will incorporate police department review of proposed special use permit applications and conditions. Crime prevention device requirements. The proposed zone tax amendment will assist the city in requiring, requiring crime prevention devices through the special use permit process. Incorporating security design principles. The proposed zone text amendment will assist the city in creating regulations designed to encourage crime prevention and defensible space through design principles such as those employed through the National Crime Prevention through Environmental Design Program and other methods to enhance public safety. Land use compatibility and noise. The proposed zone text amendment will allow for the city to evaluate and mitigate noise associated with firearm ranges through the special use process. Hazardous Coupa Materials Inventory. The proposed zone tax amendment will enable project level evaluation of hazardous and hazardous material through the special use process. On May 17, 2021, a community workshop was held for the zone tax amendment, and two members of the public attended and made the following comments. One member inquired about an existing legal non conforming firearm retailer, which is Big Five, located near the Orchard neighborhood. Mr. Keith Lauterbach submitted a letter addressed to the City Council outlining his opposition to the proposed zone tax amendment. Staff has contacted the four existing legal non-conforming firearm retailers. One firearm retailer also operates a firearm range via U.S. Postal Service and phone of the proposed zone tax amendment and notify them of all public meetings to date. The zone tax amendment is exempt pursuant to sections 1506 Zero C2 and 3 and 15061B3 of the California Environmental Quality Act, regulatory actions which will not result in direct, reasonable, foreseeable, indirect physical change in the environment and when it can be seen with certainty that there is no possibility that the activity in question may have a significant effect on the environment are not subject to CEQA. Staff recommends that the Planning Commission find a project to be categorically exempt from environmental review pursuant to CEQA guidelines 15060C2 and 3 and 15061B3 and adopt a resolution recommending that the City Council approve planning and zoning permit number 20-580-05, a zone text amendment, adding medical clinics and hospitals as sensitive uses requiring separation from establishing regulations to address firearm ranges in the sales of firearms and ammunition. This concludes staff's presentation. Staff is available for any questions. Thank you.